Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of FeSO4, which will yield Fe2O3 plus SO2 plus O2. I already wrote down our little balancing chart, as well as the elements that I see that are on both the left and the right side. So let's just start numbering how many we have, and then we will get to balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. For iron, I don't see any subscripts, right? So that just means that I have one of them. The same thing goes for the sulfur. There's one sulfur. And then for the oxygen, there's a four next door, which means that there's four oxygen. Coming on over to the right-hand side, I see that I have two oxygen. So I'm going to put a two here. The sulfur is over here. I have one of them. And now for the oxygen, just be careful. I have oxygen in three different spots. So I have to add them together. Literally, there's a plus sign here. So let's just add them together. I have three plus two plus two. Three plus two is five. Five plus two is seven. So I have seven total oxygens on the left side. Now, it looks like to me that if I just analyze the oxygen, right? You see how there's this is a even number? This is an even number, and this is an even number. I don't like that I have three oxygen here. Basically, whatever number that I'm going to be multiplying here, chances are it's gonna be even. So I wanna keep this whole even field here. So what I wanna do is I wanna immediately get rid of this three so that it becomes an even number, right? And I just work my way up. Right now, this is being multiplied by one, but if I multiply this by two, you see how two times three will turn into a six and that's an even number? So that's the first rule here. So I'm gonna put a two here, but I have to be fair. Whatever I do, I have to uh, you know, distribute between the two elements. So in this case, the iron and the oxygen are going to change, which is totally okay. So for the iron, I have two times two. Two times two, I now have four iron. And now let's just tally up all the oxygens. So I have oxygen here, here, and here. There's now two times three. So there's six plus two plus two. Six plus two is eight. Eight plus two is 10. So I have now 10 total oxygen on the left-hand side. Okay. Now let's balance the next easy element. Looks like I can easily balance the iron. Always take the lower number and multiply to get to the higher number. One times what will get me to four? Yeah, one times four, right? And that number that I stated is going to be the coefficient. So I'm gonna put a four here. But I have to be fair, all of these are going to change, the iron, the sulfur, and the oxygen. I have four iron, so that turns into a four. I now have four sulfurs, so that turns into a four. And now I have four times four, which is a total of 16 oxygens. Okay, so irons are balanced. Let's do an easier one, right? I'm gonna balance the sulfur next because one times what will get me to four? Yeah, one times four. And that number that I stated is the coefficient in the front. So I'm gonna put a four here, but I gotta be fair. So I have to change my sulfur number and my oxygen number. So now I have four sulfurs, right? That was the point of putting the four there. But now let's just make sure we have all of the right oxygens. Remember, I have to take oxygen from here plus here plus here. Two times three is six oxygens plus four times two is eight oxygens plus a lonely two over here. So six plus eight is 14, 14 plus two is 16. So now I have a total of 16 oxygen. And look at that, just by balancing the sulfurs, I now balance the oxygens and everything is balanced across the board. So we are finally at the end. Our balance equation is four FeSO4s, which will yield two Fe2O3s plus four SO2s plus one O2. 
Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. All right, love talking to you guys. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates. All right, we really greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in future lessons. Okay, bye.